So I was invited to testify before the House Subcommittee on Regulatory Reform, Commercial and Antitrust Law based on a paper that I had written that considers the potential regressive effects that regulation of health and safety risks can have. Now the types of regulation that I discuss in the paper are risks that are particularly small and don't usually affect a large um, percentage of the population. These risks, or the regulation of these risks, can have a regressive effect on low-income households, which means that low-income households pay the, the majority of the burden of the regulation, despite the fact that they don't really get many of the benefits. Um, these rules can have a negative impact on low-income household, low households because they increase the cost and reduce wages for all workers and all households, but they represent the preferences of high-income households. So that means while low-income households don't really get very many of the benefits, they pay a disproportionate share of the cost, and that's why it's called a regressive effect. Now an example of a, re a type of regulation like this um, are asthma inhalers. Um, a large number of people in the United States are affected by asthma and they use asthma inhalers frequently to alleviate th the problems they have with their asthma. Now asthma inhalers uh, significant, got significantly more expensive after, in 2005, um, Congress basically outlawed an exemption that had existed for CFC as a propellant, which is a greenhouse gas, as a propellant and in medical inhalers. Those inhalers had been exempted from a protocol which outlawed CFC as a greenhouse gas. Um, and, um, well, the, the effect that this general rule had had on, uh, on the ozone layer was that it, the ozone layer was getting restored. Ultimately, it was returning, it was expected to return to pre-1980 levels by 2050. And the World Meteorological Association actually estimated that excluding or re removing the, the exemption for medical inhalers wouldn't really have an effect at all on how quickly the ozone layer was going to be restored. It was a ne negligible effect. But yet Congress outlawed the, the use of CFC in medical inhalers, and as a result, the price of asthma inhalers tripled. And you can imagine that that's a big problem for the people that are actually using asthma inhalers frequently, and it's particularly problematic for low-income households that require those inhalers.